All right, I'm going to make this really quick. This is about um, import Chinese uh, Comet clutch knockoffs that are being imported. Some uh, probably are good quality. I've read a lot on the internet about others. People have a lot of trouble with them. This is an original Comet clutch. Uh, it's quality, well designed piece with lots of engineering behind it. And several years ago, Comet went out of business, so there's no more of these around. At least I can't find any. This one is a uh, standard board. It's different in it. It has a keyway machined into the hub, so a loose key, uh, like on this shaft, fits in there. It's can removable. You can change it or whatever. But you can see it easily slides in. Uh, the key drops in the hole with no problem. Uh, if we lift it up, it'll pass through fairly easy. With the, even with the key on it, comes out. So it goes through both sides. This uh, new Comet compatible clutch uh, that's being sold on eBay, uh, as you can see, this shaft won't even start in this side of it. It's almost the same size. A normal shaft that I have that are American made, one from the bearing place, and then I have this little piece of stock from Azusa, which is a long uh, running mini bike go kart company runs a little less than three quarters inch. It's actually uh, 0.746 and a half uh, to 0.748, depending on what you have. So it gives a couple of thousandths clearance to fit in the hole, and that's exactly what this hole is. It's a couple of thousandths under three quarters of an inch, so there's not any clearance for this shaft to go in. However, on the other side, uh, it's very large. You can see this shaft will wobble around. And when it comes, the keyway on this particular item is made into the uh, hub. It's machined in there. It's not removable. I don't know how they can do it and not remove the round edges where that key meets the bore. And apparently that may be the problem because it fits loosely as it goes in here. But when you turn it to meet the key, it will not advance over the key. I've even taken a short piece of this stock and ground a little bit off. Of course, I've tapered the edges. I've got a factory edge and then this edge that I've made that I've tapered some. It won't start on that machined built-in key. So it only goes in about five-eighths of an inch. Very loose. And uh, impossible to pass through. It'll go in five eighths of an inch. It hits the key and stops. On this side, it won't go in at all. So, I guess you could get a file or some sanding drums and mess around with it. But my concern is if they can't make something as simple as the bore fit, that the engineering they're probably not even able to copy this this uh, device to work correctly. You know, who knows if their springs are right, the tension's right. The clearances on this sliding hub are right. It has to be fairly loose to move in and out and allow the, the uh, belt to work in and out of there for the centrifugal clutch to work. So, anyway, that's it in a nutshell. Thanks.